Zach Smith with the here at Paul Sherry's Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram in Pickle, Ohio. Here we're looking at a 2012 Chevrolet Traverse. It is the LT all-wheel drive. As you can see, it's a dark, dark gray in color. Nice chrome lining there around the grill. Clear headlights, clear fog lights, not damaged, faded up, scratched or anything. Give a shot down the passenger side here as well. See, it's a very nice vehicle. Very clean, no dents, things, rust, anything like that. It says for 18-inch aluminum wheels. The tires are still in good shape. Take a look down the side here. Is there body-colored mirrors? Chrome door handles. Chrome trim along the bottom of the window there. Breaks up the color very nicely. Just have your plastic molding there along the bottom of the vehicle and the both front and rear bumpers. Help save from any road rash or debris, anything like that. Deep tinted glass in the back. You know, a shot of the vehicle here. As you come across the back, it's got the nice, big, clear LED tail light design there. Show you this here as well. This is the all wheel drive and the LT. So you've got your park assist monitors there on the rear bumper. If you open up the hatch here, see there's lots of space back here, lots of cargo space if you need it. If you lift this up, you see you've got extra cargo space down there. And then uh, that floor will actually raise up and your spare tires under there as well. Um, so you have your hooks here for your cargo net, keep your luggage from sliding around. If you pull this latch right here, the seat will fold flat for you just like that. This seat does the same thing. And then just to just the pull of a strap comes up just as easy. You do have a 12 volt outlet here. If you pull this cover back there, you do have your jack and your wrench and everything you need to change a spare tire if you would need to do so. Take a look down the driver's side here. Again, it's very clean, no dents, things rust, anything like that. 2012. Actually, I drive a Traverse. My wife does, I should say, and they're very nice. You see here, it's got your power options, power locks, power mirrors, power windows, driver's door bin. There's a power seat with a lumbar support. You can see there's a black cloth interior. Take a look here, just have your automatic headlight, fog light controls there. Cruise control on your left side of the steering wheel. Radio and menu controls on the right. Beautiful design there in the gauges and the gauge cluster. Very nice design in the dash as well. Again, this little compartment here. If you pull that up, looks like somebody stores their sunglasses in there. Exactly what I was going to say you could use it for, sunglasses. Nice big radio here. It's got your AM, FM radio. It's got your auxiliary port there, as you can see. CD player. Dual climate controls. These buttons here will actually display between your two circular gauges here. And you can scroll through your destination, miles per gallon, um, average fuel economy, tire pressure monitoring system, your trip, your odometer, all that kind of stuff. Take a look down here, has your traction control button and your rear wiper. 12 volt outlet there. This is the automatic. Two cup holders there. The center console here. If you push the button closer to the driver's seat, you can see the center console opens up there. Button on the closest to the passenger seat, that'll actually slide back. This will open up and you have a deep storage bin there. You can see you got another tool board outlet there as well. That will slide back just like that for you. Again, the interior is very nice in this vehicle, very clean. No rips, stains, tears, burns, anything of that nature is very well maintained. Again, the same with the floors. The floors are very nice, no stains, no signs of wear, or anything like that. It is only 2012. Got the glove box for you too. There's a nice big glove box in there. If you take a look in the back, it is a Third row seating. You have the bench in the bench in the middle and in the rear. Actually, I'll take just a minute to show you how these rear seats work. You see, it is the bench all the way across. Um, if you're curious to how to get in the the rear seats, if you pull this latch here, these seats will fold down completely flat for you. Sorry, I got stuck on the seat in front of it. Those will fold flat if you need to. If you need the extra cargo space or anything like that, this latch here. I don't know if you can see the picture there, but the bottom seat will actually fold up. See if I can get to do it here for you. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. There you go, just like that. You pull that. The bottom seat comes up. The back back of the seat will meet to it. Then you got lots of space in here to get to your third row. It's very nice, very very family-friendly feature, I should say. Got tongue-tied there. Sorry about that. But again, it's a very nice, very clean car. 2012 Chevy Traverse. Come see me, Zach Smith and Paul Shares. Check it out on the web at